Hello everyone. I had a lot of fun making the Inter Miami vlog a few weeks ago, so I'm going to do it again tonight as FC Dallas host Atlanta United. In recent months, we've been free falling down the table. Earlier in the season, we were third, but thanks to a host of injuries and international call ups, we're barely in the playoffs. Three points today is a must. Atlanta United, on the other hand, are more or less guaranteed a postseason berth, and with two wins in their last three games, they're in pretty decent form. Let's get on the road to Toyota Stadium and see what lies in store. We've made it to Frisco, Texas. These are my players to watch for the game. For FC Dallas, it could be Velasco, considering he just got called up to the Argentina senior squad, but I'm going to go with Azir Ilaramendi. It's not that often the club signs someone I've ever heard of, but with Ilaramendi, I've watched him and I've signed him on Football Manager many times. He's a combative midfielder, but also with a great technical ability. He was acquired by Real Madrid for over $50 million. He spent two seasons there as a regular, in the 13-14 season, he made 49 appearances, including 11 in their victorious Champions League campaign. He then returned to Real Sociedad. He only joined the club in August, and for the last two games he's been a substitute, but hopefully his fitness has built up to the point where he can start this match. For Atlanta United, it's got to be Thiago Almada. He's the second Argentine 2022 World Cup winner to play at Toyota Stadium this season. Atlanta acquired him for a league record $16 million from Vélez Sarsfield. He's currently tied as the highest assist provider in MLS. Throughout the transfer window he's been linked to Europe, particularly with Ajax, but it looks like he's going to stay until at least the winter. So I think today's game is going to be tight. My score prediction is going to be 2-1 to FC Dallas. Let's get into the action. So the game finishes a 2-2 draw. It could have been a lot worse as at one point it looked like we'd be heading home with nothing. A point wasn't great though considering we're sitting so precariously in the playoffs. Man of the match for me was definitely Il Aramendi. He had plenty of good touches and made some good interventions to win back possession. Our next few fixtures are looking tricky too with Seattle and Rail Salt Lake coming up. Gonna need to start picking up points soon if we're to qualify for the postseason.